Okay, here's the video you've been waiting to see. This is, uh, will be a demonstration of the machine in operation. What I've got here is a standard Scalectrix F1 uh, rear end assembly. I've already mounted it up in the machine and it's ready to go. What I'll do is I'll just turn the power supply on and you can see it's ticking away at about 4 volts there. You might be able to see some uh, eccentricity in the pulley there. There's been a bit of a concern about that from some people. Let me explain why that's there. The slot in the pulley is designed to accommodate axles up to 1 8. Because this is on a 332 axle, the pulley actually is slightly off centre. Uh, it doesn't affect the operation of the machine at all. As you can see, the bushes are sitting in the V-blocks there, nice and stationary. The tension on the belt is pulling the axle up into those bushes onto the contact surface and the eccentricity is actually soaked up in the stretch of the drive belt. Just adds to the range that we can use the machine for and has no negative impacts on the operation. Now when you want to sand your tyres, I wouldn't sand it at 4 volts. I'll load that up to about, we're running at about 7 volts there. Holding the sanding plate between my two fingers like this, I'll slowly lower the carriage using the thumb screw at the top. You'll hear when it, the tyres make contact with the sanding block, and then it's just a matter of moving your sanding block from side to side. Slowly winding that grub screw down until you actually see that your tyres are running nice and true. You can see that there's some rubber building up on the back of the carriage there which shows you that it's removing material and pretty much that's how the machine operates. Nice and easy, no loading up the motors in your cars, no wearing out the gears and when you're done a nice round flat pair of tyres.